welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Corner with Nelly. For those of you who don't know me, let's start using my brains. I just said my name is Nelly. Okay. So today we're gonna play a little fun Q and A. So today we're gonna have a little Q of the head. So today we're gonna do a little fun Q&A to get to know me better. So let's just dive in to the first question. Who's currently on your playlist? Let's see, uh, there are quite a couple of different people I'm currently listening to. Um, the first one I'm kind of feeling a lot is my homegirl, Mahalia. Whew. Anyone who listens to Mahalia knows she has the voice of an angel. She's the type of artist to make you fall in love with your ex. Facts. Another person I'm currently into is Danielle. Ooh, I love her drip. I love her music. I love the way she carries herself. She's an artist. Um, she's very firm and she stands to her ground. In an interview, she spoke about how one of her record labels tried to get her in a short dress and she was just like, no, I'm not having it. Anyone who follows Danielle knows she has the most unique style and that's definitely something I'm into. Who else am I into at the moment? Um, OVO, if you don't know who that is, I kind of need this video. Drake is like the poppy of culture and style and fusion. He knows how to incorporate his music into so many different styles and he's able to connect to different type of listeners. And all his songs, tick the box. So shout out to Drake, man. Keep doing what you do because your music, man. Another person I have on my playlist is Juice World. Rest in peace, Juice. Let's have a quick few seconds of silence. I love Juice World because he had such great lyricism. He had a way of expressing dark thoughts and emotions and things lots of young people were going through that not many hip hop artists were talking about. And he's one of the artists who paved the way for the new emo genre of hip hop. So shout out to Juice Roll, rest in peace, forever in our hearts, man. Other artists I have in my playlist are those boys who like to sing, hey, 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 hey. Those ones. <laughs> when we come to maybe the Tanzanian context, I would say I listen to a lot of Rosary. She is a bad bitch at hip hop, I love her. Diamond Platinum, as you all know, Nimbozaki is in a hit, period. He's like Tanzania's pride, Simba of Tanzania, so I support him, big up Diamond. And another person I'm currently into is a young artist called Brian Simba. He's kind of changing and opening the door for many of us new wave, new bongo artists, so shout out to those ones. When we jump maybe into Kenya, I would say I listen to a lot of Shrap music, that's Sheng Rap. Um, on my playlist, I would have some Butros. I would have some Jovi Jove, Tokyo Souls, 28, Barack Jacuzzi. So I kind of listen to those guys. And you should definitely check them out too. What type of food do I like? Anyone who knows me knows I'm a meat lover. I love my meat. Whether it be red meat, white meat. I'm talking pork, a beef, a chicken, fish, calamari, squid, octopus, clams. What about, what about meat? <laughs> what number sibling are you? I come from a pretty big family, large enough to be a football team. I am six out of question mark because I'm not gonna tell you how many we are. Your favorite TV show? Okay, I don't really have a lot of time to watch TV, but I will name you some of my favorite shows from back in the day. Well, first up, we have Friends. If you haven't watched Friends, man, what are you waiting for? Watch Friends. I love Friends, it's such a dynamic show. And in fact, growing up, I always kind of wanted to have my own friends, like the group of friends from Friends when I'm in my 20s. So Friends. Another great show I love is Orange and New Black. Those baddie, baddie, baddies behind bars. Those baddies behind bars, man, they had drama. But I love the context of the show. It's sad it had come to an end but it was a great show, so thank you Netflix. 
Another great Netflix show I like is Elite. It's basically the Spanish version of Gossip Girl, so no bad show. What's my favorite animal? Monkey. Old school hip hop, new school hip hop. Old school hip hop. A lot of NWA. So shout out to Easy E, rest in peace. Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. You guys definitely got me listening to 90s hip hop. And it was right after that movie, Straight Outta Compton too. Great movie too. What school did you go to? So for most of my life, I kind of attended the same school throughout most of my life. And that was St. Constantine's. It's here in Arusha. And I think I joined St. Constantine when I was in year four. That was a long time ago. I can see the memories. But yeah, that school pretty much raised me and it was a great experience. So shout out to my alma mater. For university, I attended USIU in Nairobi. Again, great school. I definitely had a different perception about uni versus the reality when I was actually there. And I think I might just do another video on that. So USIU was a great school, great experience. So yeah. Um, cats or dogs? That's difficult. Because I have both. But if I had a gun to my head, dogs. Cats shed. Nobody likes a hairy pussy. What's a fun fact lots of people don't know about me? I think I would say my sense of humor. I have a great sense of humor. Not only do I have a great sense of humor, I kind of use my humor as a coping mechanism. Most people who know me, especially when it comes to difficult situations or awkward situations, man, the best thing I would do is just laugh. Like, if you're fighting, I'm alive. If someone passed away, like, it sounds so morbid, but I'm alive. But that's, I'm going to use humor to cope with it, because that's how I deal with it. When my friend's sad, I'm going to use humor to try and comfort them. That's just the type of person I am. So I'm a very humorous person. I like people who use jokes with me. No matter how dirty or fucked up the joke is, I'm still going gonna, gonna to get where you're coming from. So humor, I love all types of humor, whether it be dark humor, or comical humor, humor. I love humor, and I'm a very humorous person. Lastly, we're gonna do my favorite quote. Your limitation, it's only your imagination. Boom, knowledge, words of wisdom, facts. Your limitation only goes up to a point of your imagination. Use your imagination Grow ideas beyond what you think you can even achieve. Never limit yourself. The minute you limit yourself, you're hindering your own progress. Always imagine great, great things. And trust me, when you put your head to it, you're going to achieve them. But if you limit yourself to here, guess what, sweetie? Even with all the effort you put, the furthest you're ever going to reach is here because that's where you've limited yourself. But if you think of great things, think of the impossible thing and never feel like you, you're defeated. Shoe game, describe your shoe game. I'm a sneakerhead. I love my sneakers. I own more sneakers than I do sandals, heels, flip flops, any other type of shoe. I'm a sneaker girl. So if you're not buying your present, sneakers. So thank you guys for tuning in to yet another episode of Quarantine Corner with Nelly. Comment down below any other follow up questions you might want to know to get to know me better. Comment down below and what other type of content you guys would like for me to post more into my YouTube. If you like this video, share it amongst your friends and subscribe to my channel. Let that bell ring once the notifications come through guys so you know when my next video is up. Thank you once again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!